we're going to talk about some RV storage hacks for our homeschool edition. about their storage in their RVs and, and troubleshooted a lot with them about what works, what doesn't work, why it's not working, what they, they want that space to be for. And so today I thought it would be helpful if we show our space and how we've been doing it, what works for us, and kind of go through some of the ideas of why we did what we did to help you with your space. makes it nice for storage so that the kids can see, oh, I need post-it notes, or oh, I need mechanical pencils, or I need my paint today. And that just makes it easy for them to be able to grab and know which bin they're getting, what they're getting, so they don't have to dig through everything. And it makes it nice for keeping this cupboard organized. It looks nice aesthetically and just makes it easy for peace of mind. The second item I want to show you is these cubby storage bins. So originally this rig had a smaller cubby bin. I think it was more like a 6x6 and these are the regular 12x12. And these plastic bins came from Target. The reason we got the plastic ones is because we had fabric and our cats destroyed them. They just used them as scratching pads and then our kids would sit on them or bend them. And so they just don't hold up as well as the plastic ones do. So I recommend going to Target. I think Walmart even carries them now, um, but these ones were from Target. And I love having this cubby shelf in here because um, it just holds. I don't have to move it on moving day. It holds everything. It's easy for the kids to find where their items that they need. And all we've done is bracket them to the back throughout the whole shelf so that the weight, um, so the weight holds everything. That way, we don't have to worry about it falling over on moving day, especially going over some rough roads. This could really get jarred, and so we added the extra brackets to hold it against the wall so that it wouldn't do that. But also, with we have decks of cards for learning countries and states and capitals and things, and so those storage containers really are helpful. And you can find them at Dollar Tree, Walmart, I've seen them, I don't know if Target has them. Um, Walmart's a little bit more expensive than Dollar Tree, but not by much. They come in a pack of three and it's three something. Um, but Dollar Tree has three packs for a dollar uh, when you can find it. The third thing I want to show you is actually on this shelf and it's a pencil caddy or a silverware caddy. A lot of times people use it for picnics and things. Uh, we use it for our everyday school supplies that they get into on a regular basis. So our pencils, our dry erase markers, our index cards, scissors, stickers, rulers. So this makes it really nice. They can just grab the caddy out and get what they need, set it in their area that they're working or just be able to slide out to see and grab what they need and then just slide it back in. And again, this doesn't have to move on the window. Number four is also on the shelf. It's the kids' binders. These are just from the Dollar Tree, nothing fancy. But in the binders, they are allowed to have their projects that they're working on. Often it's art things that they're drawing or books that they're writing, but they go in these binders. And this is helpful because in an RV where there's not a whole lot of space, or even in a sticks and bricks regular house, you have to filter down what the kids can have because I don't know if your kids are like mine, but they want to keep everything they've ever made. So this just helps whittle it down to what they can keep and what they can work on so that it's not overwhelming for you or them and it doesn't make a huge mess. 
as our bonus, I want to show you, I've talked about this before on Instagram, but these storage containers are awesome. You can see through them, they hold cards perfectly, and they make it easy for you to know what you have, where you have it, and for kids to put it away how it's supposed to and not have to worry about the edges of cards getting damaged. So we use these a lot for math and regular games. just nailed or screwed I'm not sure which way we did it we have these little clip art boards that we've attached to their bedroom space so that they can have three pictures up at any given time and they can display number six is underneath storage bins they're on wheels so it doesn't ruin your trim and it makes for great use of underneath that you wouldn't normally be able to reach because it just rolls out so these are at Target, Walmart, Big Lots, almost anywhere. Even on Amazon you can find these. Super helpful. They come in different sizes. We've got bigger ones for shoes and then smaller ones for our games under here. Just so that they would fit better underneath the chair because it's not as big as the couch. So we just put all of our games in here like so and we have two of them so that we can still have the games because we really enjoy those as a family. And they're also still really helpful for school things because if you can teach your kids in a game format it makes it a lot more enjoyable for you and for them to be able to retain the information that you're trying to get across. Number seven is tackle box organizers. So they come in the craft area, they come in the fish area, they come at the Dollar Tree. There are so many different ones everywhere. I recommend going to Dollar Tree because they have a couple different sizes and they're great for all kinds of art um, activities or just crafts in general. We use these um, tackle box dividers that obviously are more meant for girls' arts because of colors. Um, but you can find them in lots of different areas and it helps just sort out things. So when you sit down and do a craft, especially in a small space like an RV, they are, are able to pull out one thing and also see what they need before they even open it up so it doesn't make a huge mess. And then it's easy to be able to put away up in your cupboards and not have to have things just everywhere. So you can just pull out the bin that you need, you know you're going to be doing bead work, pull out your bead bin. My last item is the file bin organizers or paper organizers. I'm not really sure the official name of these but they are really helpful for your little odds and ends that are liquid. So in an RV, if your cupboards do accidentally open, you don't want these things flying out individually. So if you put them all in one container, it makes it so they won't fly out and they all stay together and they all stay upright. Also, if they do by chance spill, you have a base that they can catch in. It's easier to clean out. And these, again, we're just at the Dollar Tree, but I know that lots of places carry them. Um, but the Dollar Tree is nice because you can get different colors, different seasons, and it's really helpful to be able to organize anything that you need in them. Another part of these is it also makes it nice to be able to see at a glance what's inside because again you can just pull it down, tip it out, look to see what you need and grab the item that you need and not have to go sort through everything just to find one thing. And just slide away and now hidden. I hope that was helpful for you. Leave your comments down below and Tell me if there's anything that you've had trouble organizing. Maybe I could help come up with some ideas of how to troubleshoot your area. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.